Hi everyone, Scrappy Kathy here with Mixed Media Mayhem, and I'm doing the Day 5 uh, Scrap Lift on uh, 12 Days of Summer Scrap Lifts at Scrap Squad. And this is the page I'm scrap lifting. It was done by Brianna Lepper. Um, and it's a pool photo with a frame and a whole bunch of beautiful embellishments around it, a title. It's got a stencil of a sunburst, and I've got the best sunburst stencil. And then uh, another little cluster over here. Not quite sure I'm gonna, it, mine is maybe not gonna look exactly like this, but we'll see. I'm using a sheet of paper for the, you can see that she's got a, a watery looking paper down at the bottom. And so I'm going to use this watery looking paper from Sweet Rush by Vicki Booten. And I almost hate to cut this up, although I have used it already. I'm not quite sure how high to cut that. So this is the photo I'm using. It's a photo from our 39th uh, wedding anniversary. It was the last one we would have. Um, and I don't know, I've been, you know, kind of in that um, thinking about John kind of mode lately. So I thought I'd, I've, I've used a couple photos and probably will use more. I reserve the right to, <laughs> to do that. I'm going to place the stencil this is a kind of distressed um, sunburst stencil. And let's see, I have some tape somewhere. Here it is. Some of this. And I don't need it to be that wide. The recipe for Mixed Media Mayhem this week is Sparkle Stencil and Stamping. So here's my stencil. I'm going to use Mustard Seed Distress Oxide to color the sun rays. It's a favorite yellow of mine and nearly everybody else I know. It's just a clear, beautiful yellow. And it's a color that I know John would love. And I'm using this um, applicator because it really can apply a heavy um, application if you want it to and it can lighten up in areas that you want to do that. I'm trying, although I'm not gonna, it may not um, completely work, I'm trying to have the darker part of the rays kind of down towards the center and then have them lighten up as they go up high. Although I'm not the greatest at moderating my uh, uh, pressure. And so, and, and the right way to moderate your pressure or to do it is not to have to moderate your pressure, to do a layer do it in layers, do a light layer, and then go back and darken the places that you want to darken. But that's not how I did this, so it may not come out that way. Okay, I just love the color <laughs> as, it's, as it looks now. And let's pull that off. Ooh, I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, I'm going to put the stencil aside, and now I'm going to 
figure out where this paper should end up. Let's do it this way. And I'm going to go like this and say right here. I'm going to try to tear it fairly straight, but maybe with a little waviness, which is okay. Hopefully, I got that where I wanted it. It looks like it worked. Okay, so now let's get that glued down. Okay, so we've got that. And I didn't do the wide, um, I let the wide part, the wide tear be on the other uh, part. So that should be okay. Now, I'm going to do some of the stamping. I have this, um, I have this stitching stamp. And I'm trying to get it to sti stick to my, um, i tell you what I'm going to do. This stamp is thin and the material um, isn't sticking on here and I don't want it to come up. So I'm going to try something I've never done. I'm going to do this, and I probably will regret it, although I believe I can scrub that off. Okay, that's going to keep the stamp um, where I want it. And I'm going to stamp, I'm going to, let's see, what am I going to do? I'm going to well, first of all, I'm going to use Wild Honey, which is a compatible color. I want the stitching to somewhat come off of the... I'm going to do it on the... I probably will do left, 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 and then right, right, right um, as I come down. But... I want it to come off of this, but not all the way. So I'm going to just ink the stamp part of the way. So we'll see how this works. Okay, cool. The um, There's clearly some darker ink on, and I hate that. I will clean that off of my stamp pad with this applicator. That works. Now I'm going to get a baby wipe that I used a while ago and clean the dark ink off of there. That is not good. I frequently leave ink on stencils and stamps in case it would be useful for the next time. And in this case, it isn't what I wanted for the next time. And look at here, it's still not cleaned down at the that part. Okay, there. And then here. I may 
switch over, maybe do that one a little bit, maybe close-ish to the middle. There, that's okay. I'm not going to worry a whole lot about where it stamps on there, like this will go across because it's, it's meant to look like a, a mad sewing machine, <laughs> a crazy sewing machine. Okay, so that's done. That's part of my stamping. I have some more stamping that I'll do later in the, in the process. I'm going to put that away. This is the thing I'm reaching to put these away. That's the thing that I can no longer do, should no longer do, actually. I'm going to maybe curl that a bit. I kind of like that. Uh, that look and it kind of looks like waves lapping across okay so now my photo cluster i'm i love i love this um this frame and i was determined to use it so i actually cut my photo down a bit so that it would fit and but it it kind of didn't stand out like this one this photo cluster did so i pulled a piece of papery from the um from the bold and bright collection which just arrived yesterday from my little scrapbook store. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this here and that's gonna be my backing. Ugh, I meant for it to be parallel and it isn't. So we're gonna get it that way and then press it down. And then I've got this, which still haven't unclogged the um, I'm going to go ahead and add this liquid glue to the frame and let the photo kind of still be a little bit um, movable, if you will. So I'm going to put that maybe a little off to the side like this. And then there are some... Um, kind of bannery type things across there. Uh, hey, I'm filming right now. Can I call you back? Oh, yeah, sorry. Okay, bye. <laughs> sorry about that. Um, let's see. So, and those things exist in these sticker sheet here and I'm gonna do it I guess I want to get this out of the way I'm gonna do it like this but I want a tiny little piece of foam to go back there um, so that it stands up and doesn't obviously hang down. Um, let me get that on there and I know that that's not going to stick so I'm going to add a little bit of glossy accents to it. 
okay and it's not coming out as well as I'd like so it's beginning to get a little clogged itself uh. There we go. And then I'm going to put some on the back of this side just to make sure that it sticks where I put it. Oh, and it's sticking to my finger. That's not what I wanted. OK, so here and here. So that kind of lifts it up. I've moved the moved the glue over. For the sparkle, I'm going to add some sequins. And any place that I mess up seems like a good place to put a sequin, right? So let me, you're, I'm sure it's not great seeing that. I kind of like this bit right here, even though there isn't any such thing on the original. And while I have my glossy accents open and flowing, I'm going to go ahead and glue that down and I'll let that be my title that's a bramble fox title that's just gorgeous okay I have in the original there's this umbrella cluster I'm gonna call it right here and I think I'm gonna do balloons and I have either these color balloons or these and I'm thinking for what I want how I want this to look these may be too big they're from the papery pack and I'm gonna kind of slide them back in I have I've taken all the ephemera and all of the papery and and kind of stuffed it into here and that isn't how I'm going to ultimately store things but it's what I needed to do today so let's look at the stickers and see if we can find balloons. There's this one balloon here, which I could combine with uh, this camera cluster. I really like that. Um, there's also, I'm sure there are balloons somewhere else, smaller clusters of balloons, but I'm not seeing them. I'll bet they're in here. Here's a cluster that says hello. That's not what I want. So. What I think I'm going to do is maybe have a leaf cluster and that single balloon sticker from here. And the me do this kind of like so and then the balloon would go there and the 
camera cluster would be here. And maybe I want the balloon behind this. I'm going to put the balloon where I want it, and I'll have foam behind it. I don't need that. I'll have the balloon right there. And uh, I have pulled this up. This is why I don't like glossy accents as well as the um, glitter glue that I normally use. Um, the other reason I don't use glossy accents as much is... Um, is that it dries glossy, as you would guess from the name. I'm not sure why that's not sticking, but I will scream at it and hopefully it'll work. Okay, let me get this down. Oh, you know what? I'm going to pull this up because I have these balloons. I had already found balloons that worked. I'm going to put that off to the side. And this I don't need either, but I will put it off to the side and I'll find a way to use it on another page. I'm going to do this right here and I've got this thing that says big plans which this was our 39th anniversary and we were in fact in the pool that day kind of talking about um, what we might do for our 40th which we never got a chance to do And I thought this big plans would um, kind of tell that little bit of the story that that we had we had some plans. We were, <laughs> you know, of course, this was in 2020, and it was in the middle of COVID, and so. Let me see if I can lift that up. I want this. I like how this leaf looks against the water. I just, I just like that. So I'm going to just put it down, and then I'll figure out the spacing of this. And I need some foam to go behind it. Ah, let's see. I'm making another mess. I did kind of do some cleaning up um, before making this video. But I'm going to just say that it may not have been enough. Okay, I'm going to put that there. That can go over that. And I want something maybe right here, but I don't know what it is yet. Maybe this um, maybe this flare. I kind of like the flare. It has a really beautiful camera with a lot of greenery growing around it. It's one that Adam uh, designed especially 
for the new the new release of um, from the flare hut and as soon as he gets some some um, some business issues resolved he will be I'm going to put this over here with something like this flower. This is sim close enough to a sunflower that I'm wanting to use it. And there are two others that are papery that I don't... Oh, let me put my big plans here I'm going off book as far as the um, scrap lift is concerned um, but there is a a little um, Let's see how that looks there. I'll let that be the, there is a little cluster on it. I'll let this kind of look like a paint swatch. I'll put this on top and then kind of, I'll tuck it under that flower. So let me get the flower on with the foam tape. Uh, just tossed some stuff onto the floor. That's always fun. Here. I'm going to kind of do it like that. And then I can tuck this under here. Um, I'm going to try glossy accents. I'm sure it has dried up because I didn't cover it. There we go. Now let me cover it. <laughs> and, and I'll figure out what to do later. Okay, we're going to stick this kind of right there so that the kind of the waistline shows. And I'm going to tuck this little penguin in because that's kind of a sunflower. And this is a penguin. Those are the John references and I have a stamp for the turtle which is the Kathy reference I'm gonna do this there okay now I have a few other things here I like this a rainbow and unicorn kind of day and I could maybe put that where let me look at the original and see she's got things kind of all over here here let's see what we can do with this I'm gonna have it kind of come like this and then I can do maybe one of those splotches okay I have a yellow splotch that I wanted to put right here or maybe here I'm going to put it over here to balance this sun-kissed. And I'm just going to kind of put it right there. Let me get this. This is washi tape. And so you kind of have to peel the backing off of it. And this release of the papery pack, this seems, the washi seems a little bit easier to peel. 
and I love keeping these around because they're great um, masks. You can kind of make that pattern, you know, on a, on a piece of paper. And when you push it down on white, it really looks like a real splatter. And it's the exact colors that I've used for the, um, the stitching and so forth. This one, there's a, this aqua one I'm thinking might not show, but that might actually make it better. Um, this darker blue would show, and it would kind of balance with his shirt. So I'm going to use that one. See how easy that is? That's just amazing. Okay, let me do that. And okay, I'm really liking how this is turning out. Um, I want to put this little paint swatch that says stories to tell up here kind of peeking out of this top part. I'm going to peel that back and then I can scooch it up. There. I kind of like that. Um, I have this that says a perfect day. It's maybe not the right size for what I want. I don't have room for it. And I have this, which it, I was thinking of putting it up there. And I might like it down here. I tell you what I'm going to do, folks. I'm going to pull out my paper trimmer and I'm going to cut it in half. Okay, now let's see how this looks and where I might want to use it. Okay, I'm dropping more things on the floor. Um, I kind of maybe want it coming up from the corner, the, the bottom to be like that. And now let me, I don't know if this is, I'm pretty sure that's just um, cardstock as opposed to um, papery. And so let me get this to help me place it. <laughs> and can I have this anywhere? Does this want to go? Maybe a few of them could go on top of the rainbow and unicorn kind of day. Maybe we'll do that. And I'll put it on there. I just love these colors and the, um, I don't know, the, the designs are so cool and whimsical. 
in this collection are just, I can't tell you how much I love it. Okay, there, and then I've got this, which could maybe go, let's see, I can put it there, but I'm going to cut one of these off. And let's see. For this one, I'm going to try. I'm not having any luck there, so I'm going to go back to my... Tape. Okay, and I'm just going to kind of slide it in. Under here or up here? Do I want it up there? Maybe up there. That's probably why I took that one off. Okay. And it seems like I need something colorful right there. And I'm thinking that's maybe a little big, but I'm thinking there's a flower like that in the foam stickers. This little flower right here. I like that. There. And let's look at this. I don't have any place to use that, I don't think. Um, I do want to use a cluster of these yellow flowers. I had pulled out um, an ephemera piece like that. Um, let's see. I want a pair of sunglasses because there's sunglasses in the original. I'm going to pull these. Stickers. Let's see. No. Yeah, there's sunglasses here. And let's look at the original. She's got the sunglasses kind of going off the photo onto a um, a tag. And I may do mine this way. And then I love this butterfly and heart cluster. And wouldn't that be cute right here? Oops, it's pretty much stuck, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I need some little something right there. Maybe this little green dot, and there's a little orange one that can go maybe right here under the sunglasses, and this teal one that could go where? Maybe right there? Or let's put it. It's not going to show on this paper as very well. So let me. And there is, I've got the camera already. Let me do one of these 
clips on the photo. Do I want to? I I kind of that works there. Um, and because I said a rainbow and unicorn kind of day, I want a unicorn on there. But I want the smallest unicorn that there is in the collection. So here it is. It's a cutest little unicorn sticker, and it can go right here. I need to have some foam under it. And the unicorn's going to look like it's leaping into the um, paint splatter. Okay, there. And I want, um, I have a Bramble Fox seagull, and I want it maybe, let's see. Yeah, get those things glued down and maybe I'll do it right there coming from this um, splat down to the stories to tell and I'm thinking I could use this teal splat up here and I'm wanting to do that just to kind of balance uh, both the number of things and the colors. And this kind of goes against the design that I'm lifting, but it works for my page, which is really all that matters. <laughs> I've got this that says lifetime hugs guarantee, and I that would be cute right there instead of the big plans, but I think big plans works better. Okay, now I've got some more stamping to do, and I'm going to stamp with Salty Ocean um, to make these bubbles, and they're going to go kind of around, whoops, I kind of messed up on that stamping. Um, I'm going to put them right there, and here, and here, 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 Okay, so there are the bubbles, and I'm going to go with a, a Lucky Clover turtle stamp, and I'm going to kind of put it around And you really can't see it, so I'm going to do it a couple more times in this color, and then I'll maybe do it in another color. Let's see what I want to do. I, I might ought to just do it in black, right? Or uh, Uncharted Mariner, that would kind of be close to... Um, let me wipe this off and Let's 
see what I can do. One thing that I am going to do is use this little green butterfly right here. Nope, I'm not. I'm going to put it back on the sticker sheet. <laughs> and I'm not going to do that. Um, let me get some black ink. And I'll do black turtles. And I'll put them close to the green turtles so that it looks like I intended that. And where's the other one? There's another one somewhere. I don't see it. So we're just going to have to kind of pick a spot to put one. Let's go there. All right, now we have to add the sparkle. And I'm going to pull out, I have picked this mix of sequins, first of all, because it's called My Sunshine. And it's a, there are a mix of oranges and yellows in here, along with copper. And they're just beautiful. I'm going to have to unclog this, whether I had hoped to do this off camera. I'm opening the, the uh, the lid and doing it um, from the inside, but it's really, really, really clogged. It's dried. I, I wonder how that happened. It's much worse than it usually is. Okay, and I'm going to say that I need to use some water and I need to work on this uh, off camera. Okay, so for the sequence, I'm going to have to um, use glossy accents. And that's kind of okay, but I have to unclog it. I'm happy with the page so far. I'm thinking the sequins are really just going to add a nice touch. So, uh, I spilled the sequence. I'm going to add a few here, 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 here. And I'm just going to pull Pull the sequins that are on the table first and then I'll go to the container there, there, and here. Okay, and I'm okay with those. I'm going to really put a few sequins over here. To kind of brighten up that um, cluster. And I'm not seeing where the dots are. <laughs> you probably see them better than I do because the light is shining on them. Um, there. I have to kind of hold it so that it's at an angle where it doesn't look flat. And now let's 
let's move to the upper area. And I like adding these in the warm colors on top of the watery paper. I think that kind of makes them, makes the sparkle stand out and it kind of adds some um, movement almost to the, the watery paper. Let me get this one. I uh, want to get one of these yellow sequins here. Put it down there. Okay, and that one has fallen. I'm going to, um, I will probably add some more sequins over here and up in the, in the sunburst area, but I will stop the video now because I'm sure you don't want to see me unclog my glue again, which I'm no doubt going to have to do. But this is the original, and this is mine. Um, you can see that it was inspired by that. Um, I love the stamped stitching and, and the, the stenciling there. And then I even have some uh, cheating mixed media. And I love the bubbles. Of course, I love the bubbles. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.